Hi everyone, Drini here, and welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are not aware, uh, Gala Games is like Steam. So they're not one game per se, but rather they are a platform where there are multiple games with Gala used as the currency within them. So you can use Gala to purchase NFT items within those games um, and trade them accordingly. Each of the games will eventually have their own tokens, I believe, but at the moment, Gala is the main token that's used across. But enough of the game background, so let's take a look at its price action to see what's going on with Gala. So Gala is one of the examples that I always use when trying to illustrate that you don't necessarily want your, want your token to moon immediately. So what do I mean by that? If we look at the price action of Gala in the beginning, so back when it was still trading at one cent plus ish, it was trading normally. It was trying to undergo Elliott waves. So you have wave one here, then the wave two correction, the wave three high, um, it tried to consolidate in a wave four correction. Unfortunately, after September 13, it started to move. And while that's good for the token holders here, the problem with a crypto token going up very, very quickly is after that run up, the consolidation tends to be very long. So typically, long consolidation patterns take a while because people have to get comfortable with this level first. That is why after a moon, you normally see price action going sideways for a while because people need to re-establish the value of Gala before continuing on. So let's focus on the recent price action of Gala. So I, we will ignore this for now and just focus on price after it has moved. So after September 16, price has started to go sideways. But if you notice, the price has started to coil up. So what I mean by that is when it goes up and it goes down, the range between those highs and lows become narrow and narrower and narrower, eventually forming a descending triangle right here. Typically, descending triangles are bearish structures uh, because it signifies lower highs and it keeps testing key support levels, which eventually break and the price goes down. But just because you have a bearish structure, it doesn't mean that it will play out um, to the downside always. So descending triangles can also break up to the upside. And when they do, uh, like this one where you have a breakout here, now you have a technical target to the upside. How do we know the technical target? Again, you take the height of the triangle where the candle first touches the highest line, the highest trend line, and you overlay that to where the price broke out. So in this case, we now have a technical target to the upside of 15 cents. Is there a way for this to be invalidated? Yes, of course. The way to invalidate this technical target is if the price goes back into the channel or even break the support structure, then you can ignore this technical target because it's, in, it's been invalidated. Otherwise, we continue to march on to 15 cents. So that's on a broader time scale. Uh, let's zoom in on some of the price action that is happening for Gala over the past one week to see uh, what we can learn here. So back in October 27, all the way to October 30, the price of Gala started to form a cup and handle pattern. So this is the cup. The handle is typically a consolidation period before it breaks out. When you have a cup and handle pattern that has broken out, the, the technical target for the cup and handle is the height of the cup, overlay that in the neckline of the structure, and that's what you get a target of 11, 11 cents. We almost made it, so you know sometimes, sometimes it hits it, sometimes it overshoots, but sometimes it falls short, so we can take this technical target as being met because after that 
there's been a period of consolidation now. So after we've met or barely met the technical target, price started to consolidate. So you had a sell-off that happened over the past couple of days ago, but we have found support in the EMAs. So price has been bouncing off of the 55 EMA and it is currently ranging in a horizontal triangle. So the horizontal triangle here is really coiling up. It's going to make a decision soon. So you'll have a either a break up or a break down and with it come their corresponding technical targets. How do we know what those technical targets are? Again, it's the height of the triangle overlay to where the price will potentially break out. If it breaks up to the upside, you have a technical target of 10 cents. If it, break down, if it breaks down to the uh, downside, then you have a technical target of 8.7 cents. So we're going to monitor Gala moving forward. It is one of the tokens or play to earn games that has the highest market cap currently in this space. And that's it. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.